Jason Wheeler, we're at Poker Stars EBT Monte Carlo. There are 27 left in the main event, and you're one of them. How are you feeling right now? What, it, what would it mean to you to final table this event? Um, it would mean the world, actually. Like I final tabled an EPT event a few years ago, took second. That one really stung. I was actually chip leader of this one back in 2012 when it was the final stop and uh, with 20 left and uh, just lack of experience. Um, I just kind of punted an amazing opportunity. So um, I would love to get back there again and uh, to use the experience that I have to uh, actually make something a uh, different result than last time. Does this feel like redemption for that time? Yeah, I'm calling it uh, time to make amends. Like I've been hashtagging uh, sorry 2012 and uh, to one up pads, uh, never miss an EPT. So very good. But yeah, um, you know, it, I love EPT. It's it's like mm -hmm. a family. It, you know, you can see staff that have seen you around for the years. You see players that see you around for years. It's just a different environment than anywhere else in the world. Like, and that includes like the the big ones. You know, WSOP. It's just there's there's nothing like an EPT and. Um, feels like home for me where no matter the stop so to win one like on the home field would just be amazing and, and kind of like a culmination of uh, many years of playing so yeah hopefully we get it done and I spoke to you in Prague and you were telling me you would come from Vegas all the way to Prague you felt uh, in your gut that it was your calling to go there were you inspired to come to Monte Carlo here I mean, Monte Carlo was a no-brainer, but I was just inspired to come back and play EPTs. And then when I played Prague, it just kind of ignited the fire again. So um, I wouldn't miss the stop for the world. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens. It's you got to have the cards fall your way a little bit. Uh, like I lost one right before dinner break. It happens, and uh, you just regroup, grab some food, and then get back in there. So. And I have one last question, and I'll let you go on your break. But you borrowed a power bank off one of our. Uh, reporters yes. and you won a big hand subsequently and then you borrowed the power bank again and then you won another big hand yeah it's it's been a running break uh running joke actually <laughs> yeah. so actually when i asked him for the charger i wasn't like really low on battery yet i just kind of like needed to mix it up a bit so i was like yeah i could use a charge but i could use some luck too so i, if, I called in the charger if yeah. you get to the final table will you be calling in the power bank again uh, i won't be giving back the power bank oh, until, 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 until the evening is over okay. yeah. <laughs> perfect go on your dinner break and best of luck uh, we'll thank be following along much. cheers thank you